What's going on guys? It's your boy Adjen back again for another outer plane video and for today I received some requests to make a guide on all about AP and CP so for today I'm gonna be trying my best to explain the difference between the two and which are the best gears for your character and which are better to use AP or CP items or talismans or something like that or the special gears so first of all what is AP and CP AP stands for action points and CP stands for chain points so you can find it here in the help section under the bur skill burst tab here as you can see skill burst uses AP or action points so once you have enough action points you will be able to unleash the character skill burst uh, skill skill burst are uh, somewhat an upgraded uh, skills for the character not every skill has the skill burst as you can see here in the screenshot here uh, the s2 has the skill burst so once you have enough necessary action points required to activate the skill burst you will be able to use this one and there are different level of skill burst uh, level 1 level 2 and level 3 uh, skill burst level are tied to your character star rarity so two star or lower characters only has burst level one once you three star a character it will unlock the burst level two and once you five star the character it will unlock the burst level three so if for example you use burst level two or burst level three if you use burst level two burst level one will also get activated during that turn and if you activated burst level 3, you will also be able to activate burst level 1, burst level 2 effects alongside the effects of burst level 3. But this one will cost you a lot of AP points or action points. So that is the usage, the usage of action points. Now for the skill chain points. Skill chain are somewhat the combined uh, skills of your character characters in the team. Uh, you cannot activate this one if you only have three characters in the team three characters surviving in your team you, you can only activate this one if you have all four characters surviving in your team so if one of your teammates died you will not be able to use this uh, skill chain so there are also corresponding skill skill points so uh, i mean a uh, chain points needed to activate the skill chain and usually this type of skill or the, the uh, the chain skill is always used whenever you are trying to burst the boss uh, especially in trying to whittle down the boss uh, weakness gauge uh, bar so that you will be able to break the boss that is uh, the main purpose of this one and also skill chain is only available in PBE I believe this I know this one is not available in PvP that is uh, one of the things that you should uh, Take note about this one. Also, if I said something uh, that is incorrect, please correct me. Uh, please do correct me. I will gladly appreciate that one. So now let us talk about AP and CP gears and which are the best gears to equip to your specific characters. Take note that CP gears are best used for PBE because you cannot use them in arena or PVP. And for PVP or arena, use AP gears. That is the best advice that I can give you with regards to those one. Now, which are the specific gears to use for your character? Now, for PBE, for example, here Noah. Noah is a main DPS character. She always relies on critical hit rate, so she will always crit. Uh, you will, you are always hoping for her to crit, right? So that is why uh, the best talisman for her is the one that gives you. 7 chain points when an attack scores a critical hit. That is what I've been using for my, uh, for my Nova. And this one is uh, works really, really well for me. It's worth it if you can grab a 6-star gear. But sadly, I'm not really uh, lucky with uh, regards to those 6-stars uh, in the Into the Dips. Because uh, if you will see here, these are only the available... Uh, I, have, I have one here, but this one only gives me a defense uh, team defense buff 12 percent but i prefer this one the hp uh, the health uh, team team health buff 
So for Nova or any DPS that usually uh, do some critical hit damage, this type of gears is best because uh, you will always you are guaranteed to get uh, C bonus CP from uh, hitting the enemy with critical hits. Now for certain characters like healers or buffers, uh, let uh, for example Tio. Uh, the gear that I'm currently using for my Tio is the gladiator's charm but this one is a uh, recovers five chain points when using an ultimate uh, since tio's ultimate skill is really really uh, spammable uh, because it has a very low cooldown at max uh, at max level she will be using most of her uh, ultimate skill which is the s3 uh, and then i will gain a lot of chain points by using those if, if you guys don't know uh, what is the, as you can see here, the ultimate skill. Especially if you use the burst skill, uh, it will reduce the skill cooldown by one. No, not this one. As you can see, the burst level one reduces this shot one third cooldown by two turns. So it is really, really easy to spam this skill. That is why. Uh, Tio really benefits from this type of talisman where uh, she will be always uh, using uh, her ultimate. You will always get 5 chain points whenever you use your ultimate. So this one is for uh, Tio. For Dali, for example, uh, which is... Uh, I believe they already uh, they nerfed Dali in my honest opinion. Because as you can see, this one before is the best uh, use for her because... Her S2 before is stun attack skill. Uh, I should update this one because uh, yeah, Dali got nerfed. I don't know why they did uh, did that to her, but but she's very OP with that one. Uh, her S2 before is is a non, is considered to be a non attack skill, but sadly they nerfed her, so this one is not really good now for her. Uh, this this type of talisman is best used for your buffers, like for example Painan. Painan. Uh, S3 is a buffer so Painan will benefit the most for this type of gears which is the Sage Charm recover 5 chain points when using a non-attack skill and then for other characters uh, what are the other uh, talisman that are available let us just uh, check them out one by one so that uh, I will tell you which are character is best to use them no not this one those are AP uh, this one recovers chain points when attacking a target that has enraged. This one are useless uh, because you will only gain uh, chain points uh, whenever the boss or the enemy is enraged. Uh, which only happens one time, especially when fighting a boss. So this one are not really that good. Uh, it's better to use this uh, whenever you hit a critical uh, hit. Uh, this one, what is this one? No, this one is AP. This one is RNG dependent. The Prophet Charm has a 50% chance to recover 7 chain points when a battle starts. It only happens once and you, you only have 50% chance, right? So this one is also trash. Uh, no, this one is action points. No, critical hit. Uh... No, this one, not this one. Ah, uh, this one. This one is also good if you're running a uh, ad advantageous type of character against uh, a disadvantageous one. Like, like for example, you are bringing Noah or Dali in the fight of Glycis. They have type advantage over Glycis. So, every time they attack, they will always gain an extra 5 chain points if you equip this one to... To those type of characters and so on and so forth so if you are fighting a red uh, red enemy and you're equipping uh, this one is best to equip to your blue characters something like that now let us move on to the ap gears uh, especially used for arena uh, no not this one which where is that one i already saw it earlier This one is probably used because uh, recovers 22 action points when killing an enemy. 
Uh, if you can wipe out enemy in arena on turn 1, then this one is really that good. But in my honest opinion, burst kill are just uh, best e to equip to your uh, defense, uh, arena defense team composition. Because you want to kill the enemies uh, team comps uh, as fast as you can. Because that is the meta in arena right now. So uh, I believe uh, having... Uh, AP gears equip your, into your character are somewhat uh, negligent in my honest opinion because I, I don't really find them uh, very useful. Usually they are helpful only if you happen to go to go into uh, maybe turn 3 or turn 4 uh, if the fight takes longer but usually it only takes take turn 1 and turn 2 then the fight is already over so it depends it really depends on the situation or the ranking in your uh, in your bracket. Because in higher rankings in the PvP, especially in Diamond rank, uh, the fight all, only lasts for one turn or two turns. That is how good the uh, PvP in uh, higher rankings. But maybe if you are just starting out or in the lower uh, lower tier rankings, then probably these are these uh, items are somewhat beneficial to you. Uh, like for example, this one recovers 15 action points when attacking with an advantage use element. Just like the one from the CP uh, gear, uh, if you're fighting a blue enemy and you're a green one, then uh, you will be getting 15 AP points whenever you attack those uh, enemies. And which one is the one I'm using? I, I think I saw earlier. Ah, this one, with the one equipping clear. As you can see here, recovers 15 action points when attacking all enemies. Since if you are a cle this one is really best for cleavers, right? If you are a cleaver. Uh, you, you will be attacking uh, with an AOE attack. So this one, once you use your cleave attack, you will gain an extra eight, 15 action points by equipping this one. Well, there you go guys. That That is all about the AP gears and the CP gears. And that is the difference between AP and CP. AP is best used for... Uh, AP gears are best used for arena or PvP. And CP gears are best used for mainly pbe and i think that's it from me for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe i would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more and thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel i appreciate every one of you until next time peace